Oh, hey, it's Stevio here. So we just got a new pool in. Just enjoying the morning and seeing how the water temp is and everything. Looking good. So let's get to it. So we're just waiting for my brother to show up. So we've been planning this for a while. If you haven't noticed, my dad has an old OBS Ford. Not that that's a bad thing, but you know, he's getting up in age. He needs a more reliable truck. He just, he deserves, he's worked hard his whole life. He deserves a new truck. So we've been kind of planning this for a few years. We've been putting money aside and today's the day we're going to go to the new Dodge dealership in town and uh, see if we can uh, find him a new truck. By the way, my dad's a Dodge fan, so. So we're going to go in our K10 because I just like driving the K10. Alright, we got to go unhook this trailer off the back here quickly before we go anywhere. Gonna try not to run over any crops. So we're gonna have to weave around these trees here. There we go. Leave this parked right here. Take this off. There we go. Alright. So let's get to the Dodge dealership. We will see you there. So we're just pulling in here to the Dodge dealership. Looks like they have a few trucks on display. So this dealership actually just bought out an uh, equipment dealer. So the equipment dealer still has some of their stock here. They haven't sold off. Don't think we're interested in any of that right now. I still gotta move that off. But looks like they have a few trucks here already. So it's kind of weird. Do they have four wheelers back in the back too? Uh oh. We've been looking for a four wheeler, but we're on a mission today, so. Ooh, look at that. Old ranch hand there. Cummins. Another heavy duty. Looks like construction ready. So, obviously my dad's a farmer. Ooh, I don't know. This truck looks really good. I don't think my dad could get in up, would want to get up and down that truck every day. Man, it'd look good on the farm now. Ooh. A 24 valve. Huh. That wheel rim right there doesn't look like it's, uh, looks like it's missing a few hubs, hub nuts. Brake caliber is kind of weird. So, that is a good looking truck, but I know 24 valve is reliable, but basically kind of coming here because we want a new truck. So, huh, that brake caliber on that truck, too, steers differently. Let's go in here. This thing looks pretty good. 3,500. Yeah, that truck looks good, too. Looks like they have a Rebel here. A little half ton. Let's try to find a salesman. See... Take a look-see. Man, we just talked to salesman. They, uh, for legal reasons, they don't want to be videotaped. 
My wife would not be happy me looking at these uh, UTVs and ATVs. Man, so they're starting up. They're a Polaris and a Yamaha dealer too. Well, we can't get sidetracked. We gotta stay focused. So I wanted to look at this fifth, this half ton. I don't know. I think we're gonna probably get a bigger truck. Looks pretty clean inside. Not really a bigger truck, I guess a uh, a uh, more heavy duty, at least a three quarter tons to a one ton because uh, that's what he's used to. He likes he still wants to use it on the farm, so we want to get him something useful on the farm. And this is looking pretty good. Let's see. <laughs> Automatic windshield wipers. Hmm. Let's see if the dealer let us do a test drive of this. Alright, we're gonna do a quick little test drive down the road here. Seems to be getting up to speed pretty good. Very smooth riding truck. Have to say, uh pretty clean in the inside uh, very quiet I think uh, you would actually like how quiet this is I'm just really worried that uh, beans his other truck he would just be using his other truck for farming and that would kind of defeat the purpose of us getting him a new truck this might turn into mom's truck so that's not the reason why we're here. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go with a uh, three-quarter ton. Salesman is really trying to sell us on this uh, 2019. This is a used truck, very slightly used truck. So basically somebody traded it in for 2020. I just don't think this is the size and the style of truck my dad would like. Guess we could kind of drive it a little bit. Fairly clean interior. Looks like we have a lot of functions my dad would never use. Hmm. It's got the Cummins purr to it. See. Drive this. We'll just take a test drive just because I'm interested. Let's see what the launch power of this Cummins. Will we roll coal or not? Going. Going good. Going good, man. Definitely not a dad's truck here. A clean 82 mile an hour. I think this was definitely a fun drive, but I don't think this would be a truck that we're interested in. I wonder if the dealer would be mad if I uh, did a power slide. Would you be mad at that? Definitely uh, got a little bit of uh, torque to it, I would say. Yeah, I just don't think my dad would like stepping into that truck. Let's go look at this other ranch hand. Alright, here we got the ranch hand. It's got a winch on the front. It's got a lot of options I know my dad would like. Uh, don't know if he, we really need a flatbed or not for just because it's just gonna be kind of a old man fiddle around truck. So 
Don't know if he would really care for another flatbed. Looks like we got some tools in the back there. Uh, I wonder if they're missing. Does that come with the truck? Mm, fairly clean, kind of like the lighter interior. Stick shift, which I don't think my dad would want to do. No one wants to drive a stick shift in bumper to bumper traffic. That's just not fun. It's so definitely driving pretty good, steers good, has a little bit of body roll to it. I wonder if this Cummins has the same torque as the other one. Let's see. I love that top end uh, torque sound of the Cummins. Even though it's uh, got a big ol' engine, it's pretty quiet in the inside of this cab. Very impressed with it. Uh, take another uh, turn around over here. This is definitely an option, so I would say, I don't know if this is a top option we're gonna try to get, but this is probably a fallback. This thing seems like it has a low governor on it. I don't know why... I know my dad's older than me, but I don't know if he would like a governor that low. Fairly good looking truck, definitely has that old man appeal to it. Now we have to look at the final truck. So we always save the best for last. I thought this was a 2020, but it's actually a 2019. It's one of the last 2019s made. It's a big Cummins diesel. Kind of really digging the two-tone and the Ranchero uh, grill here. This would probably be good when my dad is driving around cattle and everything. Not really necessary, but let's just face it. Old people kind of sometimes run into things with their vehicle. Why not put a heavy-duty bumper on the front? So it looks like it has work lights in the back or LEDs, which is kind of cool. So definitely be good if you're trying to hitch something or work on something behind the truck. Has uh, steps here to get it up in. Really digging the two-tone here, but let's look into this thing. So it's another stick shift. Looks like we got some tools in the back. We come to work. Not too shabby, so we could probably get a good deal on this truck. So very smooth. Kind of digging this truck. I don't know exactly if my dad needs a dually, but what the heck, can make him feel proud driving this thing around. Seems like a good old truck to have in my book. I kind of really like this truck. I think this is the number one truck. really thought this was a uh, 2020 truck but I was wrong this is a 2019 so let's uh, put this around looks like we're getting really good oil pressure I mean we better with three miles on the truck looks like we sh should still be in a uh, break-in mode for this engine if we're gonna buy it we better not hot rod it too much really impressed so this will probably be uh, number one I think so we will uh, get back over here and see what we can do really been looking for ATV I know we have the Kubota but 
it just seems like we need one of these so going to check uh, fences going to check the cattle going to check the water it's kind of something that you just need you can go check do check your crops get soil samples you can all do that in a UTV too especially something like this Polaris but it's just easier it seems like it's quicker and sometimes it's just more fun to do it on an ATV all right so we're standing under the cover we got that ATV in the back of the truck looks pretty good so I ended up have to write the whole check because my brother didn't want to write his portion he owes me so I got the ATV for I think a pretty good price 7k and truck just about just over 60 so I think I didn't get uh, taken I don't know you guys will have to let me know I'll probably have buyers remorse tomorrow but anyways let's get this back to the farm and figure out where we're going to hide this at all right so I think we're gonna try to hide it up here in the barn that is going to be one steep adventure trying to get it up in here. Definitely going to be unique. Really want to just drive it in, but I'm thinking it'd probably be better if I uh, back it in. Ooh, man. So basically, we're leaving the ATV in the back of the truck. Uh, I'm not ready to be in the doghouse per se so I think I'm just going to leave it in the back of the truck and uh, I'll surprise my wife when I surprise my dad all right we're just driving back here from getting back from the dealer so we're gonna go park this so we're probably just going to fiddle around in the shop for a little while, wait for it to stop raining. Then, I think we might have to roll some beans. So, it was raining all day yesterday. We didn't end up getting anything done. Right now, we're going to back up this Kubota. Basically, because we need all the shop space. I'll leave this parked out here now. Uh, the plan is to use our 8R here on our roller. I know, I know. It's a little overkill, but I want my uh, suspension cab and my nice cushy seats. My IVT throttle. Or I should say my IVT transmission that's what I want it's my tractor and that's what I'm gonna do jump in this start it up so now we're gonna take it off go over and get our uh, roller I believe it is parked over here in the back but we will see There it is. Jump out here. Hook this up. Uh, make sure it's all good to go before we take off. It looks good. Let's jump in our 8R. Alright. So we're just going to uh, take it slow around the edge of this field here. Make sure we don't hit our trailer. This is looking nice since we mowed it, don't you guys think? 
We're gonna have to uh, do a crop inspection here pretty soon. So the reason you may be asking why are you rolling the beans? So basically, it's important for beans to be nice and flat, especially if for whatever reason you have a lot of pods low on the ground. You would you want your uh, uh, surface as flat as possible so when you bring your big draper head or your reel heads over that you don't dig into the dirt possibly dig a rock out or even worse put the rock through the combine so that is the reason why you at least try to roll your beans Sometimes it helps them germinate too, depending on your soil type. And yeah, I know a lot of farmers don't roll their beans or whatever, but basically every soil type or every farm zone is different. I haven't worked for one farm that does everything the same sure a lot of people that experience other farms could say that too. Let's get this folded out. It's weird how this thing unfolds. Of the field. I'm actually going to go over here on the grass and then uh, we will fold this up right here. And we'll just drive while we're folding. Still kicks it to the side for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. It must be rolling downhill. That must have been what it was doing. Try to stay out of the wheat. So we'll drive down our nice little path here. So, today was a productive day. We spent a boatload of money on a new truck and we got the beans rolled. We're gonna get supper early tonight, which is good. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here on Chippewa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.